Awesome. Um, we'll go into detail, like what got you interested in philosophy of religion um, in a few minutes. But I'm curious just to start off, if you could share like a little bit of your story. Um, as we were talking, you were an atheist for like decades of your life. So could you talk a little bit about like what led into your atheism and kind of like why were you an atheist before you get into more of like the happy part where you become a Christian again? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so why was I an atheist? Because I thought it was just common sense. I oh from I maintain that it's that way for a lot of at least Western and Central European population where they have lost connection to Christianity. I think mm -hmm. um, when I was an atheist, I considered it to be just common sense and self evidently true. Um, I saw theism as an outdated worldview, uh, a relic of the past, and. I was not against Christians or anybody. I thought they indulged in wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. I thought there's just no possible basis for the truth of that worldview, right? They believe that there's a man in the sky or some being that, some weird being created the universe. I thought, yeah, maybe that's so, but there's really no reason to believe that. We are in the 21st century. We have physics. We know basically the universe is a space-time manifold and uh, maybe we don't know everything about its origins maybe we don't know everything but on the point of it there's just no reason to believe that god exists right and i was so far removed from that idea and just naturally so like were you like did you come from like an atheistic like background or did you have like a deconstruction from like christianity or anything along those lines um no i, I guess that a lot of people are normally christians right they don't they don't go to church they have no real they are still members of churches where they don't go they don't really believe anything that is being told in church they have this weird well, maybe it's true, but they don't really care about it, nor do they really indulge in uh, thinking about religion that much, right? Mm -hmm. There is this natural disconnect, right? And um, when I grew up, I was interested in physics. I was interested in quantum mechanics and stuff like that. And I thought, well, that's obviously, that obviously gets the truth and that old superstition, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there again. I was <laughs> no, no, that, that's basically it. And I, I can tell you how that changed, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, that's where we're headed towards. Um, so I'd love for you to talk about, like, um, how did that change? Like, that journey, you've been interested in philosophy of religion for so long. You're a Christian now. Like, what's that journey like to where, like, you're a Christian today? Yeah, that's, that's very weird. Um, when, after 2006... 2006 was the year when Richard Dawkins published The God Delusion and um, the New Atheists, I thought they were refreshing at first. Mm -hmm. They said things that others were sort of afraid to say. They were openly about, there's no reason to believe that God exists. Let's call it what it is. Call a spade a spade, right? And uh, Dawkins and Harris were interesting, but Hitchens was really blessed with a spark of brilliance and I think everybody can agree. He was a brilliant speaker everything connected to rhetoric he did very well and um it was fun listening to him right mm -hmm. so um i watched a lot of hitchens debates and i thought he won a good share of them hmm. you can say by mere rhetoric but i thought he was doing well he was interested but someday he was of course soundly defeated by william lane craig and there was really no there was no way to pretend that that didn't happen. He was Craig wiped the floor with him. He had no idea what he was talking about. He couldn't, he couldn't respond to any of the arguments William Lane Craig made. He talked about other things. He talked about Mother Teresa and this and that. Um, William Lane Craig, on the other hand, did spark my interest. I think. So, um, think about it. I dived into the philosophy of religion and. I kind of quickly discovered there was an interesting case to be made, right? Mm -hmm. Smart people were doing really serious work. And from then on, I just became interested, right? And it took some years, probably four years, until I finally realized I'm a theist now. I do believe God exists, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
that was on the on the basis of arguments, right? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, from then on, that was 2013, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and from then on, it actually took some more years for me to become a Christian because I first had to had to consolidate my belief in God, right? Mm -hmm. I, I I think I believed in God, but I wasn't that sure. Maybe I found out something new. I had to settle a little bit because that's not like flipping a switch, right? Mm -hmm. um, so as I settled with my belief in God, I can see, well, there are revealed religions. And at a certain point, I came to think that the religion of unconditional love and self-sacrifice, a message that shaped human understanding so fundamentally was something that I should embrace. Mm -hmm. Right? That's That was a long journey. That took place over six, seven years, right? Mm -hmm. 